DJ Israel Records. I like it. When I look where I come from, all I see is His glory. When I see where I'm going, God is changing my story. It took me from Bulawayo, from a small township back up to Mula. Now I'm going on a world tour. Hey. What it can do for me? It can do for you. Oh, what it can do for you? It can do for me. What it can do for me? Oh, it can do for you. What it can do for you? It can do for me. You are faithful, Father. You were there for me, oh. Through the pain and suffering. Changing my story It took me from Bulawayo A 
I'm a small town, she play couple moolah Now I'm going on a wheel too yeah. What you can do for me You can do for you oh. What you can do for you Blessed evening to everybody I welcome you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. From wherever you are joining us from, it is that time again where we come to have a sweet fellowship in the presence of God, where we come to have an encounter in the Holy Ghost. And I just want you to share the broadcast wherever you are. Share the broadcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and to tell another friend again that I am live so excited about tonight for I know that every night is a night of encounter every night is a night where we come to have a sweet fellowship with the Holy Ghost so wherever you are joining us from kindly share the broadcast kindly share the broadcast in the name of Jesus all those who are joining in via Facebook if you are joining us via Facebook share the broadcast invite your friends invite everybody in the name of Jesus and if you are joining us via YouTube uh, via our YouTube platform, uh, kindly uh, tell your friends, invite your family, invite everybody to come and join you so that we may have a wonderful moment in the presence of God together in Jesus' mighty name. If you're joining in via YouTube, share the broadcast. And if you're joining in via Facebook, uh, share the broadcast as well in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Hallelujah. I know that tonight is yet another wonderful time that we're coming to spend together in the presence of God. I welcome those who are watching in, uh, who are watching from the USA, all those who are joining in from UK, from Canada, from London, uh, 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 China, Japan, uh, 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 Tokyo, whichever country that you might be joining in from, you are very much welcome tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Just touch, 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 touch. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Touch the keyboard, touch the keyboard. Thank you, Jesus. Can you share the broadcast? Share the broadcast. And let me know if you can hear me well. Let me know if you can hear me well. I hear somebody saying um, the the volume is too low. The volume is too low. Can, can you fix the volume? Please uh, take the volume up, please. Please take it up, take it up, take it up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kindly let me know if the volume is fine on your side. Let me know if the volume is okay on your side. Let me know if the volume is okay on your side. Where is Sipe? Can you please fix the volume for me? Yes, Lord. Touch the keyboard, touch the keyboard. Kindly let me know if uh, the volume is much better on your side. I, they're still saying the volume is not fine. Sorry? Huh? Let me know if the volume is okay on your side. And let me know if you can hear me well from your side. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you please fix the volume? Let me know if uh, it is okay on your side and if you are here, ring me very well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Touch the keyboard. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. La, 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 la. every heart touch everybody wherever they may be joining in from I pray tonight in the mighty name of Jesus that let your glory manifest even through this broadcast tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let your glory manifest and let everybody who's watching tonight be touched by the power of the Holy Spirit and be convicted thank you Jesus thank you Lord Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Your love is kind. Oh. Your love is precious. Yeah. You feel my. So much peace and joy. Oh, you are amazing. You made my life feel brand new. Thank you, Jesus. You are amazing. You made. 
Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your anointing. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I welcome you once again to this wonderful broadcast. In the name of Jesus. You can remove the echo. Wherever you might be joining in from, I see all those who are joining in. And all those who are joining in from uh, different provinces in the country, Limpopo, Cape Town, um, KZN, Eastern Cape, Gauteng province, all those who are joining in from Johannesburg, and all the other areas of the country, I welcome you tonight in the name of Jesus. If you're just joining us, kindly share the broadcast. If you're just joining us, kindly share the broadcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and tell another friend again to tell another friend that we are live. We are dealing with a topic tonight prophets for sale prophets for sale prophets for sale that is our theme for tonight and I'm asking you wherever you are joining us from kindly share the broadcast share the broadcast invite your friends take your friend and tell a friend to tell another friend again but we are in Jesus' name. If you're watching via YouTube, I also welcome you. If you're watching via YouTube, let me just go through your comments just a bit. If you're watching us uh, via YouTube, let me just online who's watching, uh, who's tuning in via YouTube tonight in the name of Jesus. And all those who are joining us via YouTube, kindly share the broadcast. Uh, share the broadcast, share the link to your friends and uh, tell your friends to tune in, tell your friends that we are live and let them know that it's that time again where we come to heaven and come with the Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see um, we have the Caribbean island, we have the UK uh, Port Elizabeth right there on uh, on YouTube. Port Elizabeth is online. Um, okay. Zimbabwe is also online. Uh, Ghana is online. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Uh, I see um, Dabi, Dabi. 
Io, Io I don't know where you're tuning in, but God bless you. I'm seeing you right there on YouTube. Uh, Delphine, Delphine, uh, God bless you. Uh, Judy, Naomi, uh, okay, Virginia, USA, Delphine, joining in from the from Virginia in the USA. I'm seeing you. May God bless you. Uh, okay. In Islam, I see you also. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. May the Lord bless you. Tell your brother and tell a sister to tell a sister that tonight we are dealing with the theme Prophets for Sale uh, Part 2. Prophets for Sale Part 2. We did the first part uh, the other day on. Um, On Sunday we did uh, the part one tonight. I'm taking you to part two. And then uh, as we go, we'll see how the Lord is going to take us all in Jesus' name. It's good to see you, Brother Raphael who's joining in um, uh, via Facebook. It's good to see you, my brother. May God bless you. It's good to see us. Uh, good to see you. Join via Facebook. It is good to see you. Um, okay, okay. I just decided to... Uh, go through the comments, mention a bit of some names, you know, just so you know that uh, we are connected and I'm connecting with you from wherever you are joining in from in the name of Jesus. Sharon Dube, it's good to see you. Uh, uh, I see you are asking for a badge. You get a badge, just share the broadcast. So to all those who want to get a badge on this uh, live broadcast and on my page, uh, kindly share the broadcast, share the broadcast, and keep on commenting. You will receive a page. Are we together? Share the broadcast. You're going to receive a badge in Jesus' name. By the way, the badge is for the VIPs <laughs> on, on this broadcast. So if you don't have a, a badge, you need to share this broadcast so that you can get a badge in the name of Jesus. Uh, the, the, the badge is what uh, makes you the VIP. When you have a badge, you've got the, you know, you are sitting on the front seat. <laughs> that's a joke, by the way. Uh, that's a joke. So, um, in the name of Jesus. I'm so excited and I'm so happy to see everybody. It really uh, gives me so much joy to know that uh, uh, our message is reaching out to millions and millions of people uh, 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 across the world. When I was looking at the statistics on YouTube, I realized that um, uh, uh, on YouTube, over the past 28 days, we have managed to reach up to uh, we have managed to reach out to at least over a million people uh, that we have managed to reach out to through our YouTube platform alone. And uh, via Facebook, again, we have reached up to uh, uh, over a million people that we have reached out to uh, through the, 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 the Facebook page that we have. So you put YouTube and you, uh, uh, Facebook together, you realize that the message is spreading and we are reaching out to as many people as possible. Uh, before I get down to the word for today, uh, just something very quickly before I get straight to the word of God. I want to address something very quickly. Uh, if you are in South Africa, you definitely uh, understand why I have to address this. And to all those who are also uh, are not in South Africa, but you are in other countries, you are abroad, you are in UK, you are in different countries. I really have to address this uh, so that... Uh, Everybody who follows my ministry, everybody who follows my messages may know what is really happening. Uh, I was receiving messages just over these uh, past few days. Uh, a lot of people were worried and asking questions. We said, Prophet, uh, what's going on? Uh, Brother Jay, what's happening? You know, um, we, we, we saw you in the newspapers and we saw that the police are looking for you in South Africa. Uh, we saw that uh, you are being charged for this and that, you know, um, just in one day. Sunday on, I was in maybe four to five different newspapers. Uh, these are hard copy newspapers, five different newspapers, four or five different newspapers just on Sunday alone. Uh, uh, this past Sunday. different online platforms you know that have also uh, propagated that message as well uh, 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 sorry that uh, uh, the false news you know so I just want to let everybody know 
that um, uh, I am safe, I am okay. You know, um, I believe that everything that you are seeing being published online is to try and discredit uh, each and every message that I'm preaching so that people may think I'm a fugitive, I'm running away from the police and things like that. I am not running away from any police. It is actually very funny that the police will go and look for me in a newspaper company. They'll go and look for me at a media house. Yet my phone numbers are broadcast. I always put out my phone numbers for everybody to get my number. If you want to talk to me, I've been talking to people on WhatsApp. I've been talking to people on the phone. I have never received any phone call from any policeman in, 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 uh, in South Africa telling me about some cases that were opened against me. Those are false news. Do not listen to that. It is all lies. Uh, these charlatans, they are definitely shaken and they're trying to use each and every small thing that they can find against me. But I'm telling you, it will not work in the name of Jesus. It will not work and it will never work. I'm not intimidated. I'm not shaken. By anything, or anybody who will try to spread some fake news and stuff like that, it will not work. <laughs> it will definitely not work. So I just said, let me address that. Yeah, because it's been everywhere. It's been everywhere. People from the UK have been sending me the links. Uh, people from as far as uh, America have been sending me the links and asking me, are you okay? So I want everybody to know that I'm okay. Uh, I'm not a fugitive. I'm not running away from any police officers. There is no case that I am aware of that has been opened against my name. So please, uh, don't listen to these uh, uh, puppets uh, who call themselves media houses. Uh, with these puppets who call themselves on payrolls of charlatans. You know, they are being paid by charlatans to circulate all this fake news. I've been exposing these uh, 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 liars over the past weeks, over the past months. I've been exposing these liars. I've been exposing these charlatans. The Elliot uh, Resurrection Saga, I exposed each and every detail of it. There is not even one media house that decided to cover that. They're all on payroll and they are benefiting uh, 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 from this dirty money that they are eating. But I'm telling you that they will perish together with the dirty money that they are benefiting from these dirty charlatans. So I want you to know that I'm not affected, I'm not moved by anything, fake news or no fake news. The revolution continues. This is not a time to be afraid. We can kill the flesh, only fear God. Because he's the only person, he's the only one who can take a life, uh, 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 who, can, who can deal with the spirit. So please, I just said, let me address that uh, before I really, really get into the message. Because a lot of people were really worried about me. Uh, so this is the message that I want to give out to all the charlatans, and all minions that they are using in the media houses, uh, uh, even the police that they are bribing to uh, 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 scandalize me and to try and uh, fabricate all these funny cases that they are putting in the newspapers. I want you to know this is a message to all of you. I want you to know that whatever that you are planning to do, it will not work. It will never work in the name of Jesus. I am serving God and I'm a servant of the Most High God. I'm not intimidated by some uh, uh, devil a uh, uh, worshiping people who claim not speaking. the revolution continues the message goes forward we are not shaken and we are not moved by anything let me address all the charlatans everybody uh, uh, all these charlatans i know it is the charlatan from johannesburg together with the charlatan from pretoria who are doing all this nonsense that they are doing of trying to scandalize me in the papers and stuff like that. It will never work. <laughs> it will never work. And everything that is not good in the, in the body of Christ will continue to deal with it at all costs. So please uh, uh, be aware of all the fake news that is circulating out there. It is fake news. It is fake news. Here I am. My name is Jay Israel. I'm sitting right in front of you. As you can see, I've got a smile on my face. <laughs> they run while nobody is pursuing them. But the, 
Righteous are as bold as a lion. You cannot touch me. I'm untouchable because I've got a lion spirit inside of me. So, yeah. I just said, let me pass through there uh, before I begin to minister. It's very important for the sake of those who follow me. And there's also a video that is circulating a, 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 a that is circulating out there as well where this charlatan from Johannesburg uh, was talking about a, a journalist that he sent judges and using the lawyers you were silenced. Listen, I am not that journalist. <laughs> Me, I'm sitting here, you know. Uh, some people have been sending messages and saying, oh, is it true that you have apologized? I'm not apologetic. I do not apologize to devils. I don't apologize to charlatans. I don't apologize to devil worshippers. I don't apologize to occultists. I do not apologize for exposing them. I am not a coward and I am not that weak. There is no amount of money. There is no amount of intimidation. There is no amount of pressure that they can put on me eh, 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 to come out and start apologizing. So I want you to know uh, to all those who've been uh, asking questions, oh, we saw a video where you, this charlatan from Jobek was saying that you apologize never. <laughs> even if I, I have to apologize in my dreams, I'll quickly wake up before I even say apo. I'll wake up. I'll wake up. Same time, I'll wake up because that out of my mouth. Charlatan, never. Never. So yeah, <laughs> kindly share the broadcast. Uh, share the broadcast in the name of Jesus. Share the broadcast. Uh, let the everybody who's watching from all over the world. This is the time. This is the time for the manifestation of the true sons of God. I want you to know that everywhere, wherever you are, I've been studying how the apostles died and how the disciples of Jesus Christ were killed. They were, you know, they died some very painful deaths in such a way that if you read deep into uh, uh, how they died, you'll get to understand that uh, uh, surely, surely, uh, there is a long way to go. Even in our time, in our time, we will not be intimidated. They'd rather kill us, but we speak the truth. They'd rather kill us. They'd rather uh, send assassins. They'd rather take. I would rather do all nonsense, you know, that they can do. Right now, they are running out of options because we are exposing them day in and day out. Day in and day out. Day in and day out, we are exposing them. So they, they better repent. They better repent. They better repent uh, before it is too late in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God and the Bible says and what God has in store for us tonight uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give me Matthew chapter 13 and let us read together from verse number 1. If you have it, say Matthew chapter 13 and let us read together from verse number 1. Let's go. Verse 1. Uh -huh. The same day Jesus went out of the house. The same day Jesus went out of the house. I love the word of God. Wherever you are, take out your Bible. Take out your, your Bible. Let us go into the word of God together. Uh, let us hear what God has in store for us tonight as we are talking about prophets for sale, part two. Uh, continue. The same day Jesus went out house and set by the seaside. The same day Jesus went out of the house and he sat by the seaside. Let's go, Apostle. And great multitudes were gathered together unto mm, him. Let's go. So that he went into a ship and sat. Okay. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. The Bible says he went out and there was a multitude of people that was waiting for him. Let's go. Let's go. And he spake many things unto them in parables. And he spake many things unto them in parables. Let's go. Saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. Behold, a sower went forth to sow. In other words, behold, a preacher went forth to preach. Let's go. And when he sowed, mm. some seeds fell by the wayside. When he was preaching, some of his word fell by the wayside. Let's go. And the fowls came and devoured. And the enemy came and stole that. Let's go. 
Some fell upon stony places. Some of the word fell upon stony places. Uh -huh. Where there had not much earth. Where there was not much ground. The message was there. The message was loud. But the recipients of the message were not as recipient as the preacher wanted them to be. So the word was wasted. Let's go. And forthwith they sprang. Because they had no deepness of earth. Mm, because there was no deepness of earth within them, so uh, uh, the word was uh, 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 rendered powerless. Let's go. And when the sun was up, mm. they were scorched. With that away. Continue. And some fell upon. I want you to read the last part that you read, and then we continue. And because they had no root. Because they had no what? Root. Because they had. That away because there was no root. Whatever that holds a tree is the root. In other words, the foundation of a tree is the root. That is why if you look at the, a tree that is called a baobab tree, it grows to be a very big tree because of the roots. It takes so many years for it to mature into that kind of growth because it grows from the ground because uh, 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 it grows from the ground before it Before it emanates, the roots are the ones that spread in the ground. So you might not necessarily see that something is happening in the ground because it is a baobab tree. But with time, and it becomes so big because of the depth of the roots. And now if you are a child of God and you are not rooted in Christ, there is no way that you can grow and grow in the Lord because the, what determines your growth in Christ is the depth of your word. The depth of your knowledge of the scripture is what determines how far you will grow in life. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. So because the, the foundation of everything under the sun is the word of God. Now for you to go far in life, uh, 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 how further you go in life is determined by the amount of word that you have inside of you. Buildings, uh, old skyscrapers and all those tall buildings that you see everywhere in the city, uh, 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 in different countries. It is not about the uh, height of the buildings, but it's about the depth of the foundation. If the foundation is not deep enough, then there will be definitely, oh my God, there will be definitely be no heights that you're going to see. So as a child of God... How much word do you have inside of you as you are watching me right now? The problem Word. Yet you can also feed yourself with the word wherever you are. Do not wait for the preacher to come and feed you what he has studied, but also as a child of God, it is your responsibility to make sure that from time to time you study your word, you go into your word, you get into the scriptures, have a personal understanding of the word of God. Let's go, Apostle. And some fell among thorns. And some fell among thorns. Let's go. And the thorns sprang up and, and choked them. And the thorns sprang up and did what? Choked them. Uh-huh. Let's go. But others fell into good ground. But others fell into good ground. Let's go. And brought forth fruit. And they brought forth what? Fruit. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So those that fell onto the good ground, they brought forth some fruit. But those that fell on the wrong ground, they did not bring out any fruit. For there is no germination without any seed that is sown into your life. What am I trying to say? There is no growth without any word that is planted into your life. Let's go. Some in hundredfold. Uh -huh. Some sixtyfold. So now you realize that the, 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 the germination of the the germination of the fruits or the appearance of the fruits was not equal. Some received a hundredfold, some received a, 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 a 60%, some received 50, 40. It was all depending on how much, oh my God, how much they were ready to conceive and how much. 
so he who has got ears to hear, let him hear so that their faith may be built. For faith cometh by hearing and hearing only the word of God. We are born again and we are saved. Salvation is not by works, but salvation is by faith. So we are saved by faith. We believe by faith. We are Christians by faith. We do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith. Everything about us is not by sight, but it is all by faith. And faith only comes by hearing the word of God. Now, there is no way you can be rooted in faith if you are not, uh, 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 if you do not have enough word inside of you. Now, what determines how rooted you are in the things of God, in the Lord? Lord, is the amount of word that you carry. Let's go. And the disciples came and said unto him. And the disciples came and said unto him. Let's go. Why speakest thou unto them in parable? Mm. He answered and said uh -huh. unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So the parables are given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, continue. But to them it is not given. But to them the understanding of the parables is not given. Let's go. For whosoever have, mm. to him shall be given. For whosoever have, to him shall be given. Let's go. And he shall have more abundantly. And he shall have even more abundantly. Let's go. Continue. But whosoever hath not, let's go. From him shall be taken away uh -huh. even that he has. Continue. Therefore speak I to them in parables. Uh huh. Because they seeing, let's go, see let's not, go, let's go, mm -hmm. and hearing they hear not, mm. neither do they understand. Now, I want you to repeat it again. Let me just make somebody understand what the Bible is trying to say. Let's go, verse 18. Uh huh. Therefore, speak I unto them in parables, uh, speak unto them in parables. Let's go, because they seeing, see not, they see, but they see not, uh huh, and hearing, they hear not, meaning to say, their eyes are opened, but they are blind. Who are we talking about right here? Their eyes are opened, but they are blind. Oh my god, <laughs> oh Jesus, their eyes are open, but they are blind. The truth is right in front of them, but they can't see. The fallacy of the devil is right in front of them, but they cannot see it. The lies of the enemy is right in front of them, but they cannot see it. Why? Because they are blind. So you realize that the Bible is trying to say that you, <laughs> no matter how much your eyes are opened, when it comes to the things of the spirit and the things of God, it's not about your physical eye. Because your problem is that you want to judge everything according to the eye that you use of the flesh. But the Bible is saying your physical eye is blind. So the only way that you can see when it comes to the things of God is to open your spiritual eyes so that you can see deeper and see the unseen things. The Bible goes on to say they've got ears but they cannot hear. Them as people can see that this is a normal human being. A normal human being with eyes and ears. So in other words, there is just an ear but the ear is not serving its purpose. So you realize that there's a lot of people who are carrying useless ears. There's a lot of people who are carrying useless eyes. Use your eyes to see what is deeper and beyond the curtain of time. Use your ear to listen, not only to the things of this world, but use your ear to listen to the deeper things of the Spirit of God. Then you will be enlightened to know the truth. And the truth is not a, a, a something that is revealed unto you. But Jesus Christ is the truth. He is the way and he is the life. So knowing Jesus is knowing the truth. The truth is to tell you. What I'm telling you, I'm giving you facts. I'm giving you things that you're supposed to know, but it is not the truth. Oh my God. For the truth is knowing Jesus. So knowing Jesus is to be rooted in the truth. Having Jesus in your life is having the truth inside of you. 
And now when you've got the truth inside of you, there is no way that the truth in you can allow you to speak a lie. So anybody who sits anywhere or stands anywhere to utter a lie, you must know that the truth is surely not in them because the truth are not words, but the truth is a person. Oh my God. When the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free, but it's a person called the truth that is going to set you free. You receive freedom not by hearing the truth, but by knowing the truth. I don't know how I can put this, but you, you do not receive freedom by, by seeing the truth. For a lot of you have seen the truth, but you still believe a lie. A lot of you have heard the truth, but you still believe a lie. The reason why you have seen the truth, you have heard the truth, but you still believe a lie is because the truth is not in you. Oh my God. For the truth is a person. There is a person called the truth. When we talk about giving your life to Christ, it, it, I think it actually Christ. For when you are not in Christ, you do not have a life. You are dead. So the best way to describe it is to say, oh, oh my God, you are coming to surrender yourself to Christ. Or in other words, you've been arrested by Christ. Therefore, Christ is the one who's giving you a life. For your life, not in Christ is not a life you can come and give to Christ. So when you come to the Lord, you are coming to surrender yourself. You are now under arrest. You've been arrested by the Holy Spirit. And now remember, for you to be arrested, you must be convicted. For there is no arrest without conviction. So when you are arrested and you are convicted, then you receive life. For the life that you receive is not words, but is a person called Jesus Christ. And now when the person called life is in you, then you will surely have the way. The way is not something that somebody will show you. You are lost today because you are looking for a way from your pastor. You are lost today because you are looking for the truth from a man. But the man will never give you the truth. I'm not talking about the truth about J. Israel or the truth about uh, so and so. I'm talking about the truth. When you, when you surrender yourself to the Lord through conviction, you now receive life. And that is where the Bible says, the thief comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But I have come to give you life. Not only life, John chapter 10, but life in abundance. The abundance of that life is called the Zoe kind of life, the life of abundance. The Bible says, He whosoever shall believe in him shall have an eternal life. Now the life that the Bible is talking about is not life on earth. The life the Bible is talking about is not days and weeks and months. But if you have got Jesus in you, you have eternal life. For he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't die. When the flesh dies, Jesus lives forever. So when you've got Jesus in you, you've got the Zoe kind of life, the eternal kind of life. The problem that you have is that you're looking for life in the wrong places. You're looking for the truth in the wrong places. You're looking, uh, 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 uh. you looking for the way from a man. The man can only show you a way that he has walked. A man can never show you uh, 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 who Jesus is. You need to encounter him. That is why the Bible says, Thou shalt know. And hearing are different things. Knowing the truth and hearing the truth are two different things. The one who knows the truth has proof and evidence of the truth. The one who hears the truth has no proof and evidence of the truth. So if you hear about Jesus, but you, you do not know about Jesus, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are operating from a different level and a different dimension altogether. So how do you get to know about Jesus? Who is Jesus and how do you get to know about him? You can only get to know about him by studying the word. By, oh my God, by studying the word and getting deeper and deeper 
into the knowledge of the scriptures. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's continue. Verse 14. Uh -huh. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. Let's go. Which says, by hearing you shall hear. Which says, by hearing you shall hear. Uh -huh. And shall not understand. You shall hear, but you shall not understand. So why is it that we have got a lot of people who are hearing the word every Sunday, but they still do not have an understanding of who Jesus is? It was prophesied in the scriptures. Why is it that you are hearing every Sunday? You, have, you, you, you Oh my God. You have even seen miracles. Fake, real, whatever. You have seen with your eyes miracles happening, but you still do not have a revelation of who he is. For the revelation does not come by you hearing what the preacher is saying. You need to know him. That I may know him. That I may know the Lord. It's about knowing him. Do not just hear about him from your preacher. Do not just hear about him from the pastor. Do not just hear about him from the, from the television. For whatever you hear on the television is what the preacher has encountered. For you to go and become effective in the soul winning business. It is the business. It's called a kingdom business. Soul winning. Yeah. Because it comes with a reward. And your reward is in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go, Apostle. And seeing you shall see and shall not perceive. And seeing you shall see, but you shall not perceive. That is why there is a difference between seeing and perceiving. Seeing is when you open your eyes to see in the morning. When you open your eyes in the morning, you see the sun. But when you perceive, you perceive the light. There is a difference between the sun and the light. That is why even when you go back to the, to, the, uh, 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 to the book of Genesis, where the Bible says, and God said, let there be light. He didn't say, let there be a sun. So you can see the sun. But when it comes to the light, you have to perceive the light. For perceive is deeper than seeing. For when you are seeing, you are seeing from the physical realm. But when you begin to perceive, you are tapping into the realm of the spirit. For God is a spirit. The only language that God understands is the language of the spirit. That is why many of you right now, you are going around looking to see miracles. But the day you will begin to perceive with the eye of the spirit, you will realize that according to the book of Genesis chapter 1, you are blessed and you, were, you, are, you are highly blessed by the Lord. He has given you everything that you need inside of you. Wherever you are, open your eyes and perceive. Do not just open your eyes to see. That is why your eyes are open but you are still deceived because you are using your eyes to see you are not using your eyes to perceive oh my god i'm feeling the holy ghost as i'm talking about this that is why a lot of you you attend church you go in on sunday you go on monday you go on tuesday you go on wednesday you go on thursday you go on friday you are still deceived you have to buy a miracle but the day that you perceive with the eye of the spirit you will get to know that the real miracle is having Jesus inside of you and when Christ is in you Christ in you the hope of glory what is the meaning of glory the word glory simply means the manifestation of God when you begin to see God himself when you see the true nature of God that is the money oh my god what am I talking about right here so when you begin to see the glory of God God, the manifestation of who he is his true nature he will manifest his true nature in your life why because you are now perceiving you are no longer seeing the problem you have is that you you want to see like Thomas you do not want to perceive like Peter Thomas wanted to see with the eye of the flesh but Peter wanted to perceive let me put it this way Thomas saw with the eye of the flesh. 
But Peter perceived that this is the son of God. When Jesus said, uh, 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 I know that uh, I've been with you gentlemen for, for, for the longest time. I want you to tell me, who do they say I am? Who do men say I am? The, 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 the part that we always overlook on that question is the part where Jesus says, who do men? Jesus didn't say, who does everybody? He said, who do men? So Jesus is addressing men. And he's saying, who do they say that I am? For men are the ones who see. But spirits are the ones who perceive. Little gods, those who operate like God himself. Those who carry Christ in them, they do not see, but they perceive. So all the disciples said, they call you John, they call you Elijah, they call you this and they call you that. And then Peter said, I perceive that you are called. Oh my God. So Jesus now said, I hear what you are telling me about what they are saying. So in other words, you are telling me what people say. You are reporting to me what you have heard. Now tell me about your personal encounter. Nobody had a personal revelation through a personal encounter with Christ. Only Peter said, I perceive that you are the, you are the son of the living God. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. The I am that I am. The unchangeable changer. The unshakable shaker. And Jesus said, surely, surely, flesh and blood. What is flesh and blood? Flesh and blood is the ear and the eye that sees. And Jesus says, you have not seen with the eye of the flesh, but you have seen with the eye of the spirit. Therefore, I say unto you, so leaving the physical realm and tapping into the spiritual realm where you begin to perceive things with an eye of the spirit comes with a reward because jesus says now i say unto you thou art peter already is receiving a prophetic word thou art peter simon bar jonah you are the rock and upon this rock I shall build my church. Already, Peter is being given a huge assignment. So assignment is not given based on what you have seen and what you have heard. But assignment is given based on what you have perceived. So already there is an error we need to an error that we need to correct already. So already we need to correct the error that says. We qualify pastors based on what they had at Bible school and what they saw at Bible school. Already we need to disqualify this level of pastors who are qualified by their, oh my God, by their qualifications because they learned to what another man told them. Jesus said, who do men say I am? So they reported what they had. That is why we have got two categories of uh, 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 pastors in our time. We have got those who are good at reporting what they had. And we have got those who report what they encountered. So all this time, we've been having a lot of pastors coming, a lot of prophets coming, a lot of apostles coming, reporting what they had at Bible school. <laughs> reporting what they saw at Bible school. That is why whenever there is something that needs to be revealed or something that needs to be spoken about, they caught the lecturer, they do not caught the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. The problem we have in our time is that we want to measure anointing based on the studies that you, oh my God, based on the PhD that you have in theology. Then we can say you are anointed. But we do, oh my God, we do not see anointing, but we perceive anointing. You do not see that a man is anointed, but you perceive that the man is anointed. Oh my God. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody right here, but already I feel it in my spirit. I feel it in me. I feel it. I feel something bubbling in my spirit for pressing me and pressing me to let you know that knowing him, and hearing about him are two different things. Seeing him and perceiving. Seeing and perceiving are two different things. Oh my God. How, 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 oh Jesus. How do I put this? So look at this. You, you, you have um, the first batch 
of pastors who studied theology. And everything that they know, they know it through Bible school. So are you studying theology because you are called or you are studying theology because you want to be a pastor? Those are two different things. There are those who study because they are called and there are those who, uh, are those who study because they want to be pastors. Which one are you between those two? Because going to Bible school does not give you anointing. Going to Bible school does not give you anointing. Having the most powerful lecturer under the sun does not give you anointing. We have seen uh, 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 in our time a lot of uh, prophets diverting from their true callings and a lot of apostles diverting from being apostles. A lot of uh, pastors, they are no longer pastors, they are now doctors. Another one came up and he said, I'm no longer a prophet, I'm now doctor so and so. Why? Because I just graduated from this place. But, but, but being a doctor does not heal anybody. Being a doctor in philosophy or in theology or having a PhD in whatever doesn't bring healing to anybody, does not transform anybody's life. The only thing that transforms lives is knowing him, that I may know the Lord. And knowing him is not knowing the word, but knowing the man in the word. There's even a difference between knowing the scriptures, knowing the word, and knowing the man. The Bible says, for Christ is the image. In other words, the Bible says, for Christ is the express image of an invisible God. So knowing Christ is knowing a person. Knowing Christ is knowing a person. And when you know the person called Christ, there is no way you can be deceived. For you cannot sit in a church that is false if you have got Christ who is true inside of you. You cannot sit in a church that is fake if we have got Christ who is the truth dwelling inside of you. So all those who have been sitting in a, a false and fake churches and everything, you need to begin to reevaluate. You think by knowing the word you know him. Yet you do not know that knowing him and knowing the word are two different things. Knowing him is knowing what he wants. And doing what he wants. And moving the way that he wants you to, uh, to move. And doing things the way that he wants them to be done. Thank you, Jesus. Continue, Apostle. Verse 15. Mm. For this people's heart is waxed gross. For this people's hearts is waxed gross. Let's go. And their ears are dull of hearing. And their ears are dull of hearing. So all the ears of those people who are sitting in Pretoria Church, in Johannesburg Church, in the uh, 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 all the other churches, in Nigeria Church, in Zimbabwe Church, that is false and fake. Your ears are dull to hearing. Because you are not moved by the spirit. You are moved by the flesh. That is why you are so much attracted to how the man of God dresses. But you are not attracted to how God addresses the man who is standing in front of you. somebody who uh Real men of God. So, in other words, they just come to mimic whatever that they see other real men of God doing. That is why their miracles are mimicked. They are everything. So, so, so charlatans are those people who do lip sync. 
those who come and they play a real song but they pretend as if they are the ones who are singing the song.